Hi everyone, I'm Simon and this week we're diving into what makes lithium iron phosphate or LifePo4 batteries safer than other lithium battery solutions. LifePo4 batteries are known for their strong safety profile, the result of extremely stable chemistry. Phosphate based batteries offer superior chemical and mechanical structure that does not overheat to unsafe levels, thus providing an increase in safety over lithium ion batteries made with other cathode materials. This is because the charged and uncharged states of LiPo4 are physically similar and highly robust, which lets the ions remain stable during the oxygen flux that happens alongside charge cycles or possible malfunctions. Overall, the iron phosphate oxide bond is stronger than the cobalt oxide bond, so when the battery is overcharged or subject to physical damage, then the phosphate oxide bond remains structurally stable, whereas in other lithium chemistries, the bonds begin breaking down and releasing excessive heat, which eventually leads to thermal runaway. Lithium phosphate cells are incombustible, which is an important feature in the event of mishandling during charging or discharging. They can also withstand harsh conditions, be it freezing cold, scorching heat, or rough terrain. When subjected to hazardous events, such as collision or short-circuiting, they won't explode or catch fire, significantly reducing any chance of harm. If you're selecting a lithium battery and anticipate use in hazardous or unstable environments, LifePo4 is likely your best choice. It's also worth mentioning, LifePo4 batteries are non-toxic, non-contaminating, and contain no rare earth metals, making them an environmentally conscious choice. Lead acid and nickel oxide lithium batteries carry significant environmental risk, especially lead acid, as internal chemicals degrade structure over time and eventually cause leakage. That's it for today. We hope you're enjoying our Tech Tuesday episodes. If so, please give us a like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.